Welcome to our new Back to the Basic Monday series, which is aimed at helping beginner storytellers and filmmakers learn how to use the tools available to them to find their story and tell it well. So let's get started. For this episode, I will give a quick overview of each Adobe app and what its function is. I will also include links to other videos that help give you a more detailed look into each program. It's vital to know how these apps work and how they communicate with each other while learning how to use Adobe's system for creative projects. Let's get started with Photoshop. This is probably one of Adobe's most recognizable applications. Everyone knows about Photoshop and has a general understanding of what it does. Created in 1988 by Thomas and John Knoll, this program has transformed into the powerhouse photo editing program it is today. Photoshop generally is used for image editing, creating graphics, adding effects, and batch processing of multiple images. But there is really just so much this program does, it's too much to go over in this video. I've included links to some videos that go more into detail about Photoshop if you're interested in diving in. Next up on the list is Illustrator which is geared towards graphic designers and artists to create drawings, artwork, logos, charts, cartoons, and a lot more. At first glance, it appears very similar to how Photoshop is set up. While there are some similarities, it is very different. One of the main differences between Photoshop and Illustrator is how the image is constructed. Photoshop is based on resolution and pixels to render an image, which means when you enlarge an image, the quality decreases. But Illustrator utilizes polygons to create an image and then turns them into vectors that are created using mathematical formulas. This allows you to resize your graphic without it becoming distorted, blurry, or jagged. If you're interested in really learning the science behind vector files, check out the link I've included below. Premiere Pro is Adobe's flagship video editing application and has been used to make commercials, movies, YouTube videos, and a host of other video-related projects. It was one of the first video editing programs to be a non-linear editing system. This program is built to be used by novices as well as video editing experts, with just a slight learning curve for those newcomers, but a world of possibilities for those who really deep dive into what you can do with this program. Premiere Pro is often used in conjunction with Adobe Audition, After Effects, and Photoshop, which allows you, through their dynamic link software, to edit elements of the project in these programs while keeping them updated with those changes in the Premiere project. While the bugginess and constant crashing of the system can take away some of the luster, it is still considered by many as one of the best video editing systems and is widely used in professional settings outside of the film industry. Next up is Adobe After Effects. This is a program used for creating special effects and motion graphics for video production. It has been used alongside other visual effects tools in movies like Star Trek, Ender's Game, Iron Man, and a bunch more. It not only has a host of useful effects built into the program itself, but also has the ability to work with plug-in special effects and animation software such as Red Giant, Video Pilots, Element 3D, and more. While this can edit videos, when it comes to special effects, it is really not meant to edit multiple video clips together like you would in Premiere. Its primary purpose is for visual effects, animation, and motion graphics. Audition is Adobe's Professional Digital Audio Workstation, or DAW. It not only can work hand-in-hand -hand with Adobe Premiere for editing and balancing audio tracks, but can also be used for things like podcasts, voiceovers, and Foley sound effects. It has a ton of useful audio effects packed in, including noise reduction and restoration presets to help recover audio, amplitude and compression, mastering, and a bunch of other useful audio effects to help make your audio for any project sound its best. Next up is Lightroom. Lightroom is Adobe's solution to helping you import, organize, and manage your photos while also serving as a non-destructive photo editing software. You can even opt into having your photos stored on Adobe's cloud, which allows you to access your photos from any device with Lightroom installed. This also allows photographers to save their presets and be able to use the presets from, again, wherever they are, without having to return to their main computer to edit their photos. While this is great for basic photo editing and it utilizes a lot of features that Photoshop offers, it's still limited on what it can do compared to Photoshop. This program is great if you need to do some simple photo editing and don't have time to run it all through Photoshop. This is also a great option for beginner photographers who face a steep learning curve when using Photoshop. Adobe's InDesign is the industry standard for publishing design. It is purely a layout program used by graphic designers, publishers, and print shops to create items like brochures, mailers, 
books, newspapers, comics, and other print-related products. It comes with easy-to-use tools to help you create multiple page spreads and intricately designed layouts to eventually be published to print. Next up is Adobe Acrobat. Adobe Acrobat is an application that allows you to create, view, annotate, design, convert, sign, and print PDF files. Adobe Acrobat can be useful for printing files, creating a WYSIWYG file, which is what you see is what you get. This means that what you see on your screen will be the exact thing that is printed out. Other programs such as Microsoft Word will sometimes not print exactly like they show up on your computer screen. PDF documents can also be used for online content and can be downloaded and accessed easily by the user. Number nine, Adobe's Character Animator application allows users to easily create animated characters and utilize them to make animated videos through capturing your performance through a camera, microphone, keyboard, mouse, or touchscreen. Easily set up a puppet in either Illustrator or Photoshop and bring it over in the Character Animator. From there, you can add controls to your puppet to be animated later. Character Animator then allows you to perform as your puppet character by capturing your facial expressions and linking them to your puppet. This incredible software is great for those looking to get started with animation and a program that does not require a high learning curve to achieve some fun animated videos. And number 10, Adobe Media Encoder. Adobe Media Encoder is used to help render video from programs like Premiere Pro, After Effects, Audition, and Character Animator. From these programs, you can export videos to websites like YouTube and also export for use in different mediums like TV broadcast, mobile phones, computer screens, and more. Media Encoder also has a multitude of options and presets for you to set up when rendering out your projects including a watch folder that will automatically detect media files and begin to encode them based on your presets. For more in-depth information about Media Encoder, check out this video here.